everyone and welcome back to Moss Tree Village here in Animal Crossing New Leaf and we are back oh my goodness look at my lilies my lilies are spreading even if they are not quite giving me the black lilies I was hoping for and look at all of the butterflies oh this is so pretty I still think that our town is definitely quite messy and I definitely need to organize everything but oh, Caesar you're wearing something new that is not the shirt I gave you is that a mummy outfit Caesar no what are you wearing Caesar come back Caesar! Caesar, talk to me! He's wearing something new, you guys! This is not the shirt that I gave him, but let's see what he put on. So what's up? I want to chat. Chips is a friend of yours, right? Yeah, I thought so. Yes, he is my beloved Chips. He's got this sort of new face vibe about him, so my interest has peaked. But we're not that close. This is just between you and me, but I really wish he'd go out of his way to talk to me more. I suppose these things just take time, Highness. Oh, don't worry. I'll tell Chips about that. Look at you! So Caesar is wearing a brand new outfit. Not the thing I sent him, but maybe, maybe he has sent us some mail back. Wow, we've got gifts coming out the ears. All right, but welcome back, everybody. So last time, not only do we have a lot of presents that we sent out and hopefully got back, I sent out some really nice letters. I actually spent some time like writing letters to our villagers, but we also got quite a few new items, which I'm starting to show off in the house and I went on another beetle hunt and managed to get so many bells so many bells you guys and so many beetles and so many surprises that I'm going to show to you it was really wonderful I just laid down next to chips while we were like relaxing when our internet got cut a couple days ago so we were just waiting for the internet to come back and we were both playing on our DS he was playing some fight 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 game and then I was over here playing like Animal Crossing and every time I would see a shark I'd be like a shark a shark darling it's a shark and so I would try to catch sharks and I caught so many things and so many beetles. So he was definitely my good luck charm. I have a lot of money that I am going to be putting towards the dream suite today. And I wanted to show you guys some of our new objects. So here is that modern wood uh, lamp that we managed to snag. Here is the patchworks couch that was given to us as a gift. I think Tabby gave it to us. I can't remember who gave it to us. But this is a gift from one of our villagers. And here is the white jug or the white vase vase that Blanche gave us and I have to say it is totally appropriate for a future archaeology exhibit in one of our museum rooms so I'm very excited about having this too and then all of the things oh my gosh all of the things that I managed to fish up and collect I was saving some of my favorites to show off to you guys let's see there's the soda fountain detour arrow hammerhead sharks you guys hammerhead sharks giant stags whale sharks that's what I really wanted to show off we caught some whale sharks and we also caught an ocean sunfish and I managed to snag golden stags two golden stags and two rainbow stags so I think I'm actually going to keep one of the rainbow stags and one of the golden stags just in case we could show them off at some point in the future actually i think this guy is one of those bugs too who are you again my friend i don't remember so let's see who he is he is another golden stag so yeah i caught like three golden stags so we'll sell the other one in here digging it out of my peach dresser oh my goodness so yeah we've got nope those are perfect peaches yeah we've got three golden stags we managed to get two rainbow stags i managed to catch a ribbon eel which is another new one the giant stag i don't think i had caught before so many hammerheads i think i want to keep one of the hammerheads actually and i want to keep one of the whale sharks so how many whale sharks did i get i think i only got two so i want to keep one of the whale sharks and actually keep them for like a personal aquarium that we can run uh in one of our other other houses or even in this house and then let's see lab chair minimalist wardrobe a fossil to take to blathers mini lamp spooky table which i can give away i can give these away to the villagers if they ha oh yeah and then i caught more rainbow stags and i brought a wharf roach saw sharks so there's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff oak silk moth i managed to get a, a couple of red hibiscus starts so it was a very very fruitful adventure over to the island and i really was really excited to show all of the treasure off to you guys I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I had some goliath beetles I need to sell, some stags I need to sell. 
uh, horned elephants. I mean, there's just so many bugs. We're going to have a whole entomology house, I decided. One of the extra houses that we can actually build, I will turn into an entomology house. And then maybe I'll even keep some rare bugs that I could keep inside of a dresser and then give them away to anybody who happens to visit our area. So I'm really looking forward to sharing some of the bounty. I think our main exports of Moss Tree Village are definitely perfect peach jam and beetles. I'm not sure what about the beetles we really like give them away for but I'm sure there's a legitimate reason that we would export beetles I just have to be a little creative about thinking it up all right so let's go ahead and see I guess I can't check the mail out just yet so we're gonna have to wait on our special presents and let's go and visit with blathers because I have so many fun new things to give him I'm really really proud oh and let's see what retail is selling extra for today shirts huh well, maybe I'll have a few spare shirts that I can give. Hey, Big Top, how was your birthday? And thank you guys for letting me know the villagers actually have like favorite types of items and favorite colors. But I have to admit, I still think giving Big Top that balloon bed was a really awesome move for a birthday gift. I can't help but think that that's really cool. Hey, 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 Siri, it's the perfect weather for chilling outside. Seriously, villain. So what can I do for you? What's the latest, Big Top? Hmm, I feel like hanging out inside, but I'm sick of my own place. Oh, I know. How about I come hang out at your house, Siri? Why don't we do that right now? Um, okay, sure. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we'll, we'll turn around and we'll take Big Top with us. Oh, and Tommy and Timmy expanded their shop. So we're going to go check that out. And as you guys may have seen when I was digging around in my pear dresser, selling all of the Goliath beetles and elephant horn beetles and everything else that I had gathered up from the island gave us tons of money. So we'll be taking all of those bells and putting them towards the dream suite so we can work on the museum expansion soon. So excited. Big Top, what do you think? Awesome. Thanks for having me over. What do you think, my friend? It's a little bit chaotic right now. There's literally no theme going. It's just some cool items that I have scattered about. Wow, I'm really in Siri's house. I've been dreaming about this moment for so long. Really? Huh, okay. I really like your fish tank, Siri. I'd really love to get lots of fish tanks myself and turn my place into an aquarium, villain. <gasps> Big Top, really? That's excellent news. Oh my goodness, this is my first catch. My first catch ever. Ah, can I can I drop my whale shark and show him my whale shark while he's here? Ah, I can't. I should have left my whale shark out. That would have been something fun to shock one of the villagers. Like, I have just a whale shark in my house. All right, what do you think about that, huh? Did you know you've got something growing in here, Siri? It's not a moldy sandwich, is it? A bromeliad? You decorate with plants, villain? But there are already so many plants outside. Why would you bring one inside? Oh, <gasps> Big Top. I don't know. This very well may be the end of our friendship. I am, I, I am, I just, that, I'm, no. We're, we're done here. We're done here, Big Top. We're totally, yep, we're done. This is over. I mean, we could have totally been together on the aquarium thing, but saying that you don't put plants inside, uh-uh, uh-uh, not cool, not cool. So we're just going to have to think about that. If he if he decides to move away, he can go move somewhere where they don't let plants inside. That's definitely not anywhere I would move, but goodness gracious, what, what an atrocious like, conversation to have, atrocious conversation even. From a Super TNT Mart, today marks our grand reopening. Our products line, our product lineup is even better than before, so come on down. All right, so we'll go check out what's going on. Whoops, <laughs> I walked right in here. <laughs> I did not mean to come in here. Oh, well, maybe I can make a payment. We'll make a payment towards the Dream Suite with whatever I have on me. All right, Target Fund. Yay, I'll cooperate. Uh, well, you know what? I'm just gonna put down- I'm, I'm gonna put down just a little bit this time. Like, a very little bit. <laughs> because I just realized I probably want to have some money for checking out the new TNT Mart. I can't believe they've already expanded twice. I must be a very good patron, visiting there quite often. Chip said he contributed to the building of our bridge, too, which I think is really adorable. Alright, we're gonna run up here. Genji! Hey! Hey Siri, getting some shopping done today, Otaku? What can I help you with? Want to chat? All right, it's another day of hard work to maintain peace in the town, Otaku. Oh, is he like? That's really cute to imagine him as like a little officer. All right, so let's run over to Blathers and we'll assess the one fossil we have in our pocket and then give him all of the new things, like the whale shark. I am still so happy we caught a whale shark. Oh, pardon me, Blathers. 
Sorry to bother you. Poor man. All right, come along, Blathers. Yes, yes, yes. And would you like to assess the fossil I found? Hopefully it's a good one. All right, there we go. Or another dinosaur egg or the amber. I really like collecting those pieces. There we go. A skull. Oh, I guess we already have given him that. So I guess I'll sell it in a minute. All right, let's go ahead and make a donation. And yeah, it looks like we already have the skull. So we're giving him the ocean sunfish, the golden stag, the giant stag, the ribbon eel, and the whale shark. So we've got quite a bit to give him. Nice. I want to see the whale shark. I want to see the whale shark in the aquarium. There you go, Blathers. I'm so excited. Nope, we're good. Thank you. Wonderful. I want to see the whale shark in its new exhibit. That's so exciting. I was so surprised when I caught the whale shark. <laughs> I definitely, that was not something I was expecting. So it, it surprised me quite a bit. And I still want to dedicate at least one day out of the week somehow to just doing some fishing. All right, so where's my whale shark? <gasps> wow! Look at it! Look at everybody swim around! I've got so many beautiful ocean fish. Where's the ribbon eel? Is he somewhere in here too? Hello? Hello? Can I see Mr. Whale Shark, please? Oh, there you are! Hi! Wow! You're so lovely! I'm enchanted with you. You're just hanging out with the puffer, huh? And then there's... is that a... yeah, that's the hammerhead shark. Oh, so many lovely sharks in our aquarium now. I'm very, very pleased. All right, hey, I'm trying to get a good look at you. You guys, this is so cool. So our, our well shark is now added to the beautiful aquarium over here, and we'll just have to keep working hard and expanding it how we can. There we go. Well sharks. Oh, the puffer fish just puffed up. That was so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, well, I'm, I'm good now. I just really had to admire him for a second. And let's go see what's over at Tommy and Timmy's shop. And then we'll start putting some money down towards the dream suite. And I do want to spend some time chatting with our friends today. Because I always need to check in on what's going on with Blanche. And make sure she doesn't try to move on me. And I need to check in on Aurora. Because it's been a few days since I've really had a chance to spend time with Aurora too. And we'll get into a good flow with our village. I'm not, I'm not worried. Moss Tree Village is going to be a really charming place. Alright, we're going to run past... Well, let's go check in on Nook's place. And just make sure that Nook doesn't have that hedge fencing that I really want today. Hello, Nook. How do you do? I have so much money that I owe you. Nope, nope, nope. Doesn't have the fencing I'm looking for. Thank you, Nook. Very nice to see you. That's a cute door, though. I keep forgetting you can alter the exterior of your house so much. The old, the oldest Animal Crossing I ever played, that I don't think that was possible. Hey Genji, what's up again? <laughs> Alright, wanna cat chat Genji? Hmm, I feel like I've been down this way already. Whoops, where was the shop I was supposed to go to? Huh, you know, now that you mention that, there is something new being built here. Is this the Dream Suite? I bet this is the Dream Suite. And that's what that is. And that's why it's making all that noise, because it's being currently worked on with the money that we're donating to the little gyroid. <gasps> Look at the new shop! Hello, Tommy! It looks like you've gotten a little bit bigger! Oh! Oh, that's so cool! Thank you! I'll look around! Gosh! Oh my gosh! Is that a baby bassinet? It's a stroller! <laughs> I want to buy it! It looks adorable! I could make like a little hospital set up with it! That's so cute! And there's a spooky bookshelf. <gasps> It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm gonna buy that and give it to Chips and be like, here's your master's degree. <laughs> Cause he does have, he has like a master's degree. So I'll give it to him and, and say it's his master's degree. And then I know, what is this now? Melon paper. Oh, to change like, to change music. I think that's what that does. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, she's got so much stuff. Not as many items still, but we'll, we'll kind of take a peek. I want to see what this floor is. Huh, well, it's nice, but no thank you. It's not really my style. I'm more of a rustic kind of person, to be honest. All right, then what about this one? A playroom rug? Oh no, I am a bit of a fan of setting things up to look like little daycares. Oh gosh, I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't, but it's kind of cute. Hmm, okay, I'm going to take it. 
<laughs> now I'll have it in my my catalog and that's really important actually so I can have it forever and ever now all right let's see show me what the plaza wall looks like uh, no I'm good I'm good all right I'm looking for something a little bit cleaner for future museums oh spooky walls I'm pretty sure I already bought that one like let me go ahead show me my friend Aw, oh, that's kind of cute. A whole bunch of little, whole bunch of little ghosts with pumpkin hats on. All right, and let me come down here, and I need to buy some candy. Yep, fine item, limited time sale. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Thank you. All right, so now we've got all of the stuff that I think I want. I might come back for the spooky bookshelf later today. I'm not really into the spooky items, but I feel like I'm obliged to do my best to collect them since, you know, they're limited edition. I guess my pack rat tendencies kind of work against me that way. All right, and let's check out what's, oh, Punchy's here. Wow, there's a lot of people shopping this afternoon. Oh gosh, oh goodness. There's a lot of different clothing options today, including a skull, huh? All right, Punchy is still wearing the corset, I see. Hey, Siri, funny running into you here, mph. Anyway, what, do you need something? Let's talk, my friend. I don't really get fashion. I mean, well, you're wearing the corset, so everybody is really into that corset. It really cracks me up. I need to go check on Aurora now that I think about that. Oh, look at what's over here. It's a little mask, Frankenstein mask. I think I can live without that one. There's a cute little duck face. There's a little uh, little sombrero. The Luigi hat. I think Chips would like that. The little bros hat. I'll go ahead and buy it. Yay. Okay, I'll give that to Chips because I think he'd enjoy it. And then this is a spooky hockey mask. All right, I think I'm good. Thank you. Because I think Chips would really love having that. He does love Luigi's Mansion. That's one of his favorite games. All right, so that is now done. Shopping is done. Uh, I'll come back for the flowers. I know I need to get daily flowers. Just sometimes that's a little bit much after doing so much other shopping. And we're going to sell some of the stuff that we've gathered. And we're going to go visit with our friends. And we're going to go see if we have a camper. There's just so much to do in town every day. I love it. It's very peaceful. And once I get a little bit more settled, like I keep saying, we will start clearing out trees. We'll have days where we just devote like everything. I'll do the main street stuff on my own. And then we'll devote just the day to like clearing out trees and making things nice and tidy and organized. All right, Reese, I'm going to shock your socks off because I've got fossils and rainbow stags and golden stags and giant stags and hammerheads to sell. Um, I've got a lot of stuff that you're gonna be you're just not oh and I got an upright vacuum you guys I totally forgot about that I got an upright vacuum from punchy for bringing him an ocean fish it it just totally cracked chips and I up all right let's see 55,000 bells deal sweet thank you Reese all right oh, oh, oh who's punchy what are you doing here buddy all right what can I I mean can I get you dressed in this is that something I can do Every item here has a story behind it. Doesn't that, don't I sound super deep when I say stuff like that? <laughs> yes, do you want anything? So you're shopping today, or are you here to sell? I was just bumming around town, so I decided to come take a look in here. Oh my gosh, so apparently villagers really love shopping about this time of day. Bye, Reese. I wanna kinda see if Big Top has that balloon bed set up in his house. That would be kind of fun. <laughs> All right, so now that's a little bit of things done with Reese, but I still need to go and bring her some more of the items that we collected. All right, come on, in we go. So now we're gonna snag some of my money. We're going to put some of the things that I wanna save away. I need to have like a special, these are presents for chips category that I can just tuck things away for him. Um, okay, I want some of my money out because, no, get back out here, fishing rod because we're gonna need that. And then I guess I'll go ahead and this will be like Chips's present spot. I won't give him a stroller. That would make him very unhappy. Chips is not, not an upright vacuum either. The little bros hat and the blue certificate are for him. And then I know I'm storing candy somewhere. Aha, come here, Goliath beetles. Got some new things to sell. And then let's see, there's an elephant beetle or a horned elephant, excuse me. And then anybody else? I could have sworn I had some other things to sell that I had found, but ha, there's the candy and B. No, 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 candy. Ah, oh, candy doesn't stack. Well, it's a good thing I've got some empty drawers. I'm a little bit of a pack rat, as you can tell. You can kind of see where I've got some of these things stored and I'll keep those guys. And then what's this? This is the mummy mask. 
Okay. Aha! I knew I had another section with some of some more of these guys that I need to take to Blathers and or give away. There's the playroom rug, spooky table, stroller, which would be kind of funny to keep, but kind of funny to give away too. <laughs> so let's see, I have a couple of saw sawtooth sharks. I should probably go back up to Blathers with those, but give me just a second. I want to see- yes, you guys, look! I think I can pay it off! Yeah, let's do it! We're gonna pay off the dream suite! All of it, my friend! Uh, how much? Two, one, one, six, oops! Here, <laughs> there you go! Take it all! Alright! Thanks to you, the fundraising target of 234,000 bells has been reached! Please look forward to the completed project! Wonderful! Yeah! You know what? I think that that project donation goal being that definitely shows that I have a lot of money. And once we get that in the museum done, I'm going to put down two more little museum spots. I really think with the two other houses. And one of them is definitely going to have to be dedicated to the entomology center that I keep talking about. Because, come on, we just managed... <laughs> We just managed to pay off like a huge, huge loan or a huge building project, I should say, and the home loan because of bugs. So I think we definitely need to turn one of our houses into an entomology center. All right, let me go ahead and take care of this just to take any of the extra little sharks, the sawtooth sharks and whatnot. Genji, what do you think of the sawtooth shark in my pockets? So what do you think, huh? I feel like I've been down this way already. Oh, he's just totally lost. Hang in there, Genji. Hang in there. He wanted to move away the other day, but I kind of asked him to stay because I like having him in town. But I don't know, there's so many other villagers that can come and, and rotate in and out. So we'll check out the campsite in just a second too to see if anybody, anybody is visiting. All right, hang in there, Blathers. Also, if I'm a little bit like distractible today, I apologize. I have a very bad headache. All right. Oh, just the saw shark. All right, everybody else he already has. <laughs> just the saw shark. Look at the size of him. Oh, uh, the saw shark reminds me of a time when I was still in my baby feathers. Ah, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I wonder what on earth he was doing with the saw shark when he was a baby. All right, there we go. We have donated more things to our museum. I am quite happy. Go back to sleep, Blathers. You, you've you earned it. You can get some rest. I mean, honestly, putting a whale shark away in the aquarium, he probably deserves to have the rest of the day off, in my opinion. I haven't been to Club LOL yet, either. I've just been so busy. I think you can go and get expressions if you go to Club LOL, so that's definitely something I need to go do. All right, so now we are ready and oh, we can go to Isabel and we can tell Isabel all about the fact we want to start working on the museum. Dun dun dun. I am very happy. I like this little series of goals we've got. Ah, life sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but I really love coming up with plans and like having, having plans laid out because it really helps me give myself structure to my day and makes me super happy. I don't know. I'm a very easy person to please. As long as I've got some plans. All right, there we go. All these beetles, all these sharks. 57,000 bells. No, no, I didn't mean that. I really wanted to give them to her. I, You just shocked me, Reese. You just shocked me, that's all. I wonder if you can sell a well shark here. I might try doing that one day. Just sell, sell a well shark, why not? There we go. There we go, deal, Reese, deal. Just a little bit over my bill limit with all of that, too. There we go. All right. So now that that's done, I can go over to Isabel finally, and I can tell her, Isabel, the dream suite is completed, and we're ready to get to work on some other projects. So hopefully Isabel will be happy about that. I haven't spoken to her in a few days. Is she snoozing? Isabel, hi! All right, let me jump up in my little chair. I know the drill by now. Now you can come over and tell me about it. Hi, Mayor Siri. Is there anything I can help you with? Public works projects, please. Great news! We've met our collection goal for the Dream Suite project. It should be complete tomorrow. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? You've earned it. Is there anything else I can help? Aw, oh, man! Okay, so I guess you can't go ahead and start it right away. So tomorrow we'll celebrate the completion. Bye, Isabel! Hug! Tomorrow we'll celebrate the completion of the Dream Suite, and then we'll get started on the museum. And I'm thinking, given the way our town is laid out, I will actually put the other two museum places, maybe like one right over here. And then I'll put the other one right over like here, uh, a little bit like here. And then we'll have maybe a public works project in between them. 
And then I can make the little farmy area maybe over here or over here. So we'll work on that. But all right, let's go visit with our villagers for just a second. Now that we've, in fact, is Big Top in his house? I want to see if he put up the bed I gave him. Big Top? Ah, oh, his house is a little bit further up. No, I don't think he's inside right now. Nope, he's on a snack run. In fact, I can see him moving around up there. So we'll go down. I want to see if there's anybody inside of... I feel like there's a lot of persimmon trees all of a sudden. Anybody... Hey, Big Cat! Inside of the campgrounds. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Siri, gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions. So what's up, Lady Brew? K -k -k Kisses? I can't start thinking about how sour fruit puckers. Your lips were kissing. Is that true? I heard something like that somewhere. But what would you, what, what would you know about it? For the time being, I'll settle for the energizing quality of fruit. Any kind will do. Just please give me some fruit. Okay, Kit Kat. All right, don't worry. I'll bring you some fruit. He wants fruit so he can practice his kissing lips. Aw, oh, and there's no camper here today. Well, you know what? Oh, what's this? Oh, Aurora, hey. What is this? It's a lost item, eh? Aw, oh, man. All right. Let's see. We'll have to start asking around. Because you only have like a day to return this. And then it just becomes a useless item. So we'll ask around really quickly. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want I don't want to ask you about fruit. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see. Drop something? Is this yours, my friend? Alright, so let's go ahead. Is this yours? Oh, man. Yeah, that's not mine. You got my hopes up, buddy. Alright, I'll bring you a lemon. Because you want something to pucker your lips for pra kissing practice. All right, hey big top. Did you lose this? All right, let's try this again and confirm What about you, huh? I know where Genji is. Maybe Genji lost it <laughs> Hopefully it does have a home. I'm beginning to suspect these lost items never have homes. Aurora, sweetie. How are you? I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad you're still here. Did you drop this? Let's see if she dropped it. Maybe it's hers Ah, There you go all right, what about this, Aurora? Not yours? Okay, that's fine. All right, and then anything you want to chat about today, my good friend? And then I need to go find- <gasps> He just planted roses, Big Top! You just earned me over again a little bit after, like, stealing away- <laughs> stealing away with the plant talk. All right, let's see. You look absolutely, um, stylish, Aurora. She's really, like, self-conscious about this outfit because she asked me about this outfit a lot. So I think maybe I will try to send her a new outfit. I hear you're a bit of a hometown hero, Siri. You're the topics of lots of conversations around town. That's so cool. Thank you, Aurora. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I need to see if anybody owns this item. Let's see. And then I also need to go get some lemons. So I'm gonna pick some lemons and give a lemon to Kid Cat so that he can practice his kissing lips. All right, which I've never heard of before, so that kind of cracks me up. It's a very funny, very funny saying. There you go. And then we'll go see Blanche on my way back because I want to see how Blanche is doing. Maybe Chatter dropped it. I can't believe how many villagers have moved into just this one little itty bitty section. <laughs> it's so crowded. Oh, Blanche! <gasps> Blanche, you're wearing the new shirt. I totally forgot that I need to check my mail. Oh, she looks adorable. Nice day to get a few things done, isn't it? Was there something you wanted quite so? Did you lose this? Oh, she's so cute in her new shirt. I am so happy she's wearing one that I gave her. It's really kind of a thrill when they put on the clothes you send to them. All right, so we'll keep going. Thank you, Blanche. I'll, I'll ask Chatter and everybody else. And I totally forgot to look through my mail. Hey, Siri, take a look at this. Tea and biscuits from Siri. Oh my. It's the first letter you ever sent me. It's fun to read it now and think about the time we spent getting to know each other. That's adorable! I didn't know she'd send me, like, letters, like, show me the letters I sent her. It's a good thing I write her nice letters. All right, so let's see. This is from Big Top for going to his birthday. Dear Siri, thanks for the birthday present. I've been looking at it every night before I go to sleep. It gives me such sweet dreams. A well-rested Big Top. Well, that's really awesome because it is a bed, so hopefully that helps him out. All right, let's snag that. And what did he send us, you guys? <gasps> It's a most valuable player shirt. Hey, guess what? Reese is buying shirts for extra today. And then from Blanche. Dear Siri, when I got home last night, I found your present waiting. It, by some coincidence, I also picked up a present for you while I was out shopping. Please take good care of it. Oh, yay. All right. So let's see what we got from her. And... 
<gasps> it's the star projector. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I am definitely gonna have to go ahead and put that down in the house in just a second here to see like who's, who's it's from. And from Caesar, I sent him new clothes. Hey Siri, thanks for the clothing. Guess I, I guess it shows the image you have of me. I'm giving you a present too. It's some clothing that I think will be a perfect fit for you, ha. Huh? All right, so I think I wrote Blanche like a really long letter. And Caesar, I thought I wrote a really big letter, but I guess since I sent him clothing, blue plaid tee. Like I said, it's a good thing that um, Reese is selling shirts or like buying shirts for extra today. All right, let's look around down here. Tabby's home. Oh no, I think I was supposed to go visit Tabby and I totally forgot to the other day. All right, well, I've got to hurry and wrap things up. Come on, Tabby. Let's see if this is, she's got a spooky wardrobe. <laughs> Did she buy that from me, Tabby? Oh, you crack me up, Tabby. I love visitors in the afternoon, Kapow. What do you want to talk about? All right, Tabby, did you drop this? I'm I'm running on like the bottom of the list of people who this could be for. Please? <gasps> yes! I've been down in the dump since I lost it. I put coconut cream pie in there, Kapow. Yay! Thanks for getting the, thanks for going through all the trouble to find out who the owner was. I don't have much to give you in return, but I hope you won't mind the green bar tea. Well, yay, more things for Reese. <laughs> I'll be more careful in, in the future. I seem to drop things way too often, Kerpal. Oh, there we go. Fish flakes, do you like need anything from me? What's new, Tabby? You look kind of surprised that I have a wash basin. <laughs> How do you think I wash my hair every day and twice on Sundays? Yeah, I'm kind of a neat freak. No wonder she has all this water stuff in here. That's kind of adorable. And then let's see what else she has to say. Do you think Big Top and Caesar are good buddies? It, they seem like they would be. I mean, it's not like they're BFFs or anything, but they don't hate each other. That's a good start. Oh my goodness. All right, that's adorable. Well, there we go. So I found the owner of the lost item, checked in on Blanche, and I checked in on Aurora so that they're doing good. Uh, Punchy's hanging out up in town. Managed to get quite a bit done. So let's go ahead and see. And we paid off the dream suite, which was, whew, that was a bit of a project. But I had fun. I really have fun just laying on like Chips' office floor at night. And while well, he's doing all of his studies because he has to translate ancient, ancient Chinese text, which takes a long time and a lot of focus. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go take Kid Cat his lemon in just a second after we look at the star projector. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh. Does it work? Like, what happens if I turn it on? <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> what do I do with it? Can I turn it? Does it do something? That is, it, I'm, I'm sort of stunned. Can I aim it at my wall? And can it actually, like, project stars? <laughs> like, light? That's so cool. Well, thanks, Blanche. This is amazing. That's going to be really awesome for my little, my little, like, astronaut. <laughs> my little astronaut museum. <laughs> I'm like stumbling over my words because I'm just so surprised. All right, well, star projector, nice. And I have strollers, spooky tables, upright vacuums, and we'll wrap our day up by taking this kissable lemon over to Kid Cat. Oh my gosh, but yeah, I love doing that. Just laying on the floor in Chips's office, playing and collecting beetles and I'm very excited to see our future entomology museum. And, you know, as a way... Oh, I think he just planted more of those roses. My townspeople really love plants. I don't know what Big Top was saying. Plants belong outside. That's not the way it goes, Aurora. Hey, do you want to trade anything, my dear? I don't have any fish for you, though. She does tend to ask for the fish if I'm carrying any. Do you spend much time with Chip Siri? We haven't really clicked yet. Maybe we just need to hang out with each other some more. Oh, trust me. I spend lots of time every day I get to spend with my chips. He's amazing. Kit Kat. Hey, all right. Let me go ahead and give you this lemon. And it is as sour as I possibly could manage. Hopefully you enjoy. I'm giving him the whole basket. You've got a mountain there. But if you give me all this, you won't have any for yourself, right? What? He won't take the whole basket. I only need one. Okay. That's adorable. So you can, you can actually try to give them the whole basket, but they won't take it. All right. Let me go ahead and try giving him just one lemon now. All right. There you go. I wonder who he wants to practice like kissy lips for. That's, that's a curious question. Tabby? Maybe Punchy? Who knows? We'll have to see. All right. <laughs> Shows and keys. Fruit after exercising is the best thing ever. Well then, here's your reward. It's a spiderweb tea. All right, well, thank you. 
I've got so many t-shirts to go sell to Reese now. All right, well, I'm gonna go sell these t-shirts to Reese, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, so we've gotten quite a few very unique t-shirts as gifts from the villagers today. <laughs> So I'm gonna go take them. It's a good thing shirts sell for extra at Reese's place And then I will see you guys next time when we will see what the dream suite looks like I might start going dreaming once a week. That could be really really fun Maybe at nighttime I could release like a, a nighttime Sunday dream suite episode that could be pretty cool And then we'll start work on the museum expansion And I might even start clearing out the area and setting things up so that we can put in the two other houses That will treat as museums down here too. I think in front of the town hall would be a really good spot for them. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.